By May 2019, shortly after she announced the terms of the divorce on social media, Mackenzie signed the Giving Pledge and promised to give away at least half of her wealth throughout her lifetime. She once made a $5.8 billion payout in charitable gifts. In 2020, one of the largest annual distributions by a private individual to working charities. Mackenzie's fondness for donating to charities has put a big dent in her bank account, which is why her current net worth has fallen to $25.3 billion from the height that it was originally at. Number 7. Suzanne Hanna Ursula Clatten Next up is Suzanne Hanna Ursula Clatten, a German billionaire heiress. She is the daughter of Herbert Quant and his third wife Johanna. Being born into one of Germany's most influential families gave Suzanne a head start in life that many can only dream of. Back in the Day, the Quant family saved the world-famous carmaker BMW from bankruptcy and made a ton of profit doing so, profit that trickled down several generations later. Suzanne was born in Bad Hamburg, West Germany, and when she came of age, she gained a degree in business finance. After graduation, Suzanne worked for an advertising agency in Frankfurt for some years. Before opting to further her education at the University of Buckingham, she received an MBA in advertising from IMD Business School in Los on. With her sparkling portfolio, Suzanne, who had already come to be known as a budding businesswoman, gained further business experience working in London with the Dresdner Bank. She also worked with the Munich branch of management consultants called McKinsey & Company and the bank Bankhaus Reuschel & Company. While it is worth noting that Suzanne made a name for herself through her own hard work and determination, her rise to the top came after her father's death. After the passing of Herbert Quant, Suzanne inherited his 50 0.1% stake in the pharmaceutical and chemicals manufacturing company Altana. By doing so, she gained billionaire status. Her late father also left her a 12.5% stake in the car company BMW, which, following the death of her mother in 2015, increased to 19.2%. Along with her brother, Stefan Quant, who owns nearly 24% of the car company, Suzanne was appointed to the supervisory board of BMW in 1997. Using her position on Altana's supervisory board, board and her experience as an economist, Clatton helped transform Altana into a world-class corporation. This transformation earned the company a spot on the German DAX list of 30 top companies. Today, the billionaire heiress is the sole owner of Altana, and the company is said to rake in more than $2.5 billion in annual sales. She also holds stakes in Entrust and the SGL Group, bringing her net worth to a little under $28 billion. While you would only need a Google search to find out Suzanne's net worth, she certainly does a good job of keeping her personal life out of the news. What we do know, however, is that she met her husband, Jan Clatten, while she was interning with BMW. It is reported that during the time they got to know each other, Suzanne went by the name Kant instead of her real name. Of course, she revealed the truth later on, but still, who doesn't love a good romance plot? The pair married in 1990, in Kitzbühel, lived in Munich, and got separated in 2018. Clatten had three children children with her ex-husband and hasn't been in the mood to find love again since her last brief love affair ended up in a big blackmail scandal.